Hey everyone and thanks for joining me today. My name is Charles from Sprata Web and today in part two of our Elementor and WordPress performance series we are going to cover gzip compression, what it is, and how to activate it on your site without the use of any plugins. Uh, this technique is super simple. It's not going to take uh, any premium plugins and it takes under a minute to actually implement. So what is gzip compression? Well, as you guys will recall, every time a visitor comes to your website, there's a variety of scripts and style sheets that are loaded just to display that page. And the more of these you have and the larger they are, the longer that page is going to take to load. So what gzip compression does is it essentially compresses those pages and style sheets before sending them over to the browser. And this in turn reduces the transfer time it takes uh, for it to be displayed to your visitor. Um, the way it works is actually pretty cool. Because CSS files and HTML files use a lot of repeated text and they have tons of white space in them normally, um, gzip compression identifies all the similar data and strings and replaces those strings temporarily to make the overall file size small. Now if you scroll down towards the bottom of this page, you'll notice that GTmetrics provides a series of settings that you can copy and paste into your htaccess file. And this is to help enable gzip compression across all the right file types that you define here. Um, and just do a lot of trial and error and just testing this across a lot of elementary websites, I've noticed that this doesn't necessarily work all the time. And so even with gzip compression enabled, I still got a lot of different gzip compression errors and more recommendations on page speed analysis. Um, and so what I did is I actually have rewritten this so that it makes it a lot easier for browsers to understand what you're trying to gzip. Um, and I've tested this against hundreds of elementary sites by now, and um, this particular file that I've written works great. Um, I've made this available to you guys as a free download, and all you have to do is just click the link below. And um, I'll show you in just a moment where to copy and paste this to actually use this. Now before we edit the htaccess file, I'm first going to show you guys a couple of settings that you can tweak on the server level. So first thing that I normally check when updating and optimizing websites is my PHP version. So once you log into cPanel, go to, down to software and select PHP version. And I noticed that on this particular site, we were running PHP 5.6. And this is not really recommended because PHP 5.6 was discontinued back in December. So this is now an insecure uh, version of PHP that is no longer being updated. So from this drop down menu, you'll have update options hopefully. Uh, and I normally like to, for now, stick with either 7.1 or 7.2. And it really depends on what plugins you're using. And um, you'll definitely want to do a backup and uh, perform a compatibility check before you update it. But, uh, you know, what I normally do is just after I do a backup, swap this over to 7.2, click Save, and then go to your website, take a look at everything, make sure everything is working just fine. And if it is, then you successfully just updated to PHP 7.2. This is a big deal because PHP 7.0 and above uh, actually drastically increases the number of requests that your server can handle per minute, especially with WordPress sites and, and, and so forth. Um, and so this is a big not only performance upgrade, but it's a great security upgrade. Once you've upgraded to, uh, your version of PHP, now we're going to go ahead and enable gzip at the server level. And when you log into cPanel, You'll notice here under software, there's an option called Optimize Websites. You'll want to click that. And what's crazy is by default, most hosting providers and cPanel-based uh, websites, um, they have gzip actually disabled at the server level by default. So what I normally do is select Compress All Content and Update some. And just like that, we've activated gzip compression at the server level for our website. And now what I'm going to do is through cPanel, and you can also do this through FTP. Um, I'm going to go through File Manager. What you'll want to do is find your htaccess file for your website. And so for me, this is going to be under public underscore html. And though I can already see mine, in the event that you can't find an htaccess file uh, or see it, in cPanel you'll be able to go to Settings and click Show Hidden Files. Once you do that, you'll be able to see your HT access file right here. Now, we go ahead and edit that. And you'll notice that in my HT access file, uh, it's pretty standard, but I have a section already in here that says begin WordPress. Don't mess with anything that's already in your cPanel, and there's no need to. But what you are going to want to do is start off 
at line one. Just hit enter a couple of times. And on line one is where we're going to paste the code that um, I uh, told you guys about. So below this video, there's a link to download the free version for GZIP compression. Uh, that's going to give you a text file that looks just like this. Okay. All you have to do is just copy all of it. You're going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it right here, right into my HT access file, starting at line one. You know, notice once I scroll down, I still have my initial um, HT access uh, settings right here. So I've never removed any of that. So that's all still there. Okay. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And there you go. That should enable GZIP compression on your website. So what you're going to want to do is go to GT Metrics. We're going to run a scan, but when I ran a quick scan on mine, you'll notice that enable GZIP compression is now at 100%. And on the Y slow side of things, you'll notice that I also have 100% on compressing components with GZIP. And the thing is, is up until now, we haven't even really optimized anything on the front end of the site. This has all been at the server level and just making updates to HT access. Um, some common issues that can also be fixed with HT access settings would be things like add expires headers, um, configuring entity tags or e tags. Uh, on the page B side of things, you can use HT access settings to enable keep alive, as well as leverage browser caching. And these are things that we'll cover in the next tutorial, but in the event that you're not um, necessarily patient and wanting to wait until then, I did make available uh, my Ninja Stack file. And in it, um, I basically have already written all of the HT access settings out for you. And uh, this goes through and solves a lot of different common things. So in the free version of the file, uh, that'll help you fix exactly what this tutorial is covering, which is GZIP compression. Um, but then here, uh, I've got another version that also goes through and fixes you know, things like leverage browser cache and keep alive, entity tags, and serving resources with a far future expiration date. And all I have to do is just go right here and this will be your download links. Once you download the file, we'll be able to copy and paste those settings right into your HT access file as uh, we just covered. Now, once you have a chance to download one of the HT access files, um, what you'll do is you'll go back to cPanel uh, and you're going to edit your HT access file. Now, what you'll want to do just as a general good practice is make a backup or download a copy of this HT access file. Um, so all I'll do is I'll just download it. And in that way, if anything happens um, where I need to go back and replace this original HT access file, I have the original copy. Um, so then what you do is you'll go ahead and click Edit. And uh, you'll notice in here um, I have already pasted my HT access files right here. Awesome guys, well thanks for watching this tutorial today. I can't wait to create another one for you guys. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, please comment and share this with other users. Um, if there's something in particular you want me to cover, uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you ever have any WordPress performance questions or uh, need assistance with that, especially if you're an Elementor user, um, please feel free to hit me up, uh, private message me, or visit me at spiderweb.com. Thanks guys.